Ringo, it's time for your cameo. Hey, Ringo. Yeah, that's my Ringo. If he wants, if he wants a cookie. <laughs> You gotta ask him if he wants a cookie. You want a cookie? You want a cookie, Ringo? <laughs> He's busy cleaning the floor. Yeah, that's fine. Like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Look at Bernie. Sandwich runners. Find out some crumbs. Doing some repairing of jewelry today, Glenn? I'm working on it. Good. Very good. Pick up only, you know. In store pick up only. Pick up and drop off. All right. Always drop off. <laughs> Well, today's D-Day. Today's the anniversary of D-Day. Uh, today's the 6th, right? Yeah, D-Day. Yeah. Oh. 76 years. Wow. I was thinking about that this morning. Oh. You know, it's getting harder and harder to find World War II vets. They're just, you know, they're... Unfortunately, really yes, correct. Is that great? Right? Mm -hmm. Both of my other... It doesn't go with my other Columbus. How do you know it's the, the year? Is there a uh, hmm? marker of the... You know what? The person who sells those is right here. Just let me ask you. Oh, that's okay. Oh, just that's so you know. Man. You want to know. No, that's all right. Because he only does originals. He does the there. maps and the prints. Yes, yeah, so I saw that. Yeah. Actually. Thank you. Is it a little crazy? Okay. So Kansas City, 48. What Okay, he actually has a little envelope, so let me grab one. Okay, that's nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you're sort of a little wet, is that right? Um, or a little wet, yeah. Well, yeah, my, sister, my daughter lives in West New York, New Jersey. Uh-huh, and her boyfriend is in Somerset. Sure, no, sorry, maybe I can No, no, it doesn't make yeah. sense. Thank you for this. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Oh, our pleasure. Enjoy up here. Thank you. Enjoy that. Where, by when, because it's not... I know, and it's all staggered around the state. It's yeah, the, the state, the different states have different things. How about so, Jersey? What are you guys doing down here? Uh, they're, they're slow as molasses. Um, nothing. It's, it's just curbside pick up the food. Um, they say outdoor dining June 15th at restaurants, gyms June 24th. So it's going to basically be yeah. through the month. Well, the thing I'm most looking forward to is having the barbershop open. I haven't had a haircut since February. It works pretty good. She does mine. Oh, good. <laughs> That's why I have to buy a little. Yeah, I, I hate, I can't stand it when it gets too slow. Yeah, I know. I don't like it either. It's, uh, so I think it's. By the end of the month, third week. Yeah, good. And that's Morristown, so you're not near Bergen or. No, that's closer to New York. Right. Or Further west. Right. So if you know where Newark Airport is, we're straight west, 20 some five miles. Well, that's good. Uh, so we're kind of off the beaten path there. Uh, yeah. 
You are. <laughs> well, it's good to see things coming back to life a little bit. We need it. Yeah, absolutely. so tied down. So much has happened this year, it's hard to keep up with everything. Yeah, so we're, we're just happy to kind of have a, a nicer day. Actually, the weather here is a lot nicer. You know, it's more humid and hotter uh, up here. It's a little okay, nicer. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're, we're supposedly in for a nice stretch, five, six days. Of yeah, good we need it, don't yeah. we? Yep, absolutely. I think the humidity is supposed to go down and it's supposed to be a little cooler. Yeah, it's supposed to be, yeah. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is one of our, one of our spots we love coming up here. Yeah, we eat there all the time. That's what definitely goes to money if there's online. Yeah, we like it. We love it there. Well, actually, just so you guys know, they're closing Church Street. This is Church Street, yeah. Carol, starting Wednesday from 3 p.m. to 7 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. every so night. So they can put tables, tables out, out on the street. Yeah. So and I and Cafe Le Beau is part of that. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah the Cafe is good. The Barbaros is good. Yeah. And New Hill has great. I love the bar in New Hill. Yeah. Now there's there's lots of. What do you recommend for lunch today? Well, a lot of people like the deli. That's uh -huh. the deli fair. Uh -huh. I like the best because they tend to have sort of different things. Yeah. And you can do takeout there. Okay. Yeah. The diner is open for takeout oh, also. The they have tables outside the diner, okay. just down the block on your left. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, we get the takeout for lunch and lunch. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't look at the best. Mr. Agra, yeah, how's the, uh, coffee there. They yeah. the head count coming? Thank you. Thank you. Right. They called about uh, a couple of weeks ago and asked me if I'm still interested. I said, yeah, sure. As long as I'm not going door to door. Yeah. You won't be doing that. Are they going to get the census completed on time? I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. Yeah. So the B doesn't publish? The B has not yet started to republish, but we're looking forward to that. How, how long has it been now? A couple of months? Since March. March, April, May, June. They do an online version. Oh, really? AntiquesInTheArtsWeekly.com, I think, is the... Uh, web address for us. Whose books? They could be yours for a small price. They could be yours. You want them all? No. no. I'm only asking because I have them all. Oh. And if they're not selling here. Well, they're not for sale here. They're uh, for reference. Oh, reference? Yes. Oh. Yeah. They're all antique reference books. The Joys of Hunting Antiques. That is a read. Yeah. yeah. Well, I gotta do something. I gotta keep going. So, uh, Brimfield is canceled for July, I'm told. Is it? But not September yet. I was hoping we'd get a July storm, though. Doesn't look good. And what about Madison Bachville? Any word yet? Not yet. Mm. That's August. Did the string break on your mask? No. no. You're not supposed to touch your face. I'm not touching my face. No. Look, I'm touching well, the mask. I hear you. Huh? I hear you. You're the only guy that looks better with a mask on. Everybody tells me that. Huh? I should have started wearing it years ago. Really? Well. Let me tell you this about that, Mr. Agro. Mr. 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 Uh, Joe. Joey Smalls. Joey Smalls. Yeah. I'm big on Smalls. <laughs> oh. So you got your uh, pink truck out there, huh? Salmon. Salmon. Salmon colored truck. 19 what? 56. So Joyce, your uh, your boot looks like it's up to speed now. Yes, Tom, we're uh, we're ready for business starting next week when we reopen. 
Yes, I'm, phase phase two begins Tuesday, the ninth. Yes. So we'll be, we'll be back to a seven day a week schedule. Okay. So I've got everything cleaned and out and sorted, and so I think we're all set. These some pretty cool items right here. Thank you. Yeah. Tiffany, is this, is this whole shelf Tiffany no, in the middle? No, just these two pieces. They're Tiffany Moonstone earrings and then some dogwood earrings wow. that are Tiffany. Oh, something's knocked over. Let me write that up. Um, yeah, and I have, these are actually Elsa Peretti, who is a designer who worked for Tiffany. Mm -hmm. And I have a beautiful pearl bracelet over here that was by designer Angela Cummings when she first went out on her own after her internship at Tiffany's. Wow. So, yeah. so that's why they're all grouped together yeah, in this little yeah. section. I just want people to know uh, specific designers. And these are beautiful Persian turquoise earrings. They're 18 karat gold. They have diamonds. And they have clip backs probably circa late 50s, early 1960s. They're just beautifully, beautifully made. Yeah. Now I know why you keep it in the bank vault. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And, the, and the, some of these are consigned to you? Or? Yes, they are. Most all of them are consigned to me. It's what people bring in. Uh -huh. And we uh, look things over. We look for condition issues. I research the items for them, come up with some pricing suggestions. We negotiate. And if they agree, then everything is cleaned and put out, insured. And then when it's sold, the month after it's sold, I send a letter to the consigner with a check. Nice. Yeah, and that's the process, and it works really well. We have a lot of people who uh, who can sign with us who like it. Well, that's the beauty, of, I guess, of being in Millbrook. Yeah, you yeah. You have a lot of uh, yeah. higher-end jewelry in, in the, around. And we end up getting a lot of, a huge variety of jewelry. And another piece that's quite nice is if you look here, this is a very, very special opal. It has a lot of green, and, and it's probably what you would call a black opal. I, I'm pretty sure it's Australian, which are the finest quality. Mm -hmm. has some sapphires and some diamonds around it, and the opal is in amazing condition. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. Well, thanks for looking. We have a lot of things. It changes all the time. Yeah. Well, like I say, we'll be back to seven days a week, so that's good. That sounds great. Yeah. And you have... Uh, don't you have an online store also? I do. Uh, www.jeheatonjewelers.com. Nice. 24-7. Thank you for asking. Yeah, you're welcome. Very good, Joyce. Thank you. Thanks, Tom.